We sent loose a bunch of bears to go maul people in the city. Gave some helpful advice if you're falling in Hilltop Zone Act 2. Just barely avoided the dangerous trap known as the Pit. And left off just starting Oil Ocean Zone 2. And now the start of Oil Ocean Zone 2. <laughs> hope my voice has finally recovered. Uh, last night I was actually recording some more projects, uh, mainly this one that I'm actually involved in for a project called Sonic United. Flash animation, which actually, uh, well, we've only seen some some clips of the artwork and the beta artwork. I favored it. It's still there in my favorites for right now. Should be there until I favorite three more things. But for that project, I'm actually doing four voices for it. I'm, a, I'm doing uh, Vector, Knights, Riala, and Black Doom. And last night I was doing... Whoa. Uh, well, last night I was doing uh, Black Doom's voice. I've done all of Vector's, Knight's, Riala's voices that need to be done, or at least all the, uh, the lines that he sent me anyway. Those have all been taken care of, but Black Doom I've been putting off for a very long time. Oh, and for the record, it's Knight's as a boy, not the voice from Journey of Dreams. And only last night did I finally get around to... Still hate those octopuses. Getting t to do the videos for him. Or I wasn't doing this video, I was doing a voices for them. Uh, doing a voice for his character. And, uh, well, I'm gonna play a clip for that right now for you guys. It would appear all oh, this all has been dragged in. I would know Professor Joe Robotnik borrowed the design from one of our weapons. But it looks like whoever activated it ended up turning it off before it finished. There must be someone on that space colony. Who didn't know about it? Uh, what do you guys think? Uh, did I do a pretty decent job? The way he was supposed to be recorded is he was supposed to sound slow. You know, he's, so, he's supposed to sound like he does in the game. The game, he really doesn't talk very fast. He talks very slow. But you still get that chill down your spine. So, the director was okay with it. He thought, he thought that I was, like, scary good. So, what do you guys think about that? I don't have any of the other voice clips that I've done for the other characters, though. Because that was done over a year ago, and I'm pretty sure I've deleted them. But uh, that's something I'm looking forward to, is just seeing even the trailer for it. Uh, but, not, but I've gone on about that long enough. But uh, yeah, definitely check it out. Definitely try to look up Sonic United when it comes out. Not much else to really talk about in this part. Just kind of time your jumps just right and... Have fun down the oil slide. Oh wait, uh, first a shield. Then the slide! Whee! Oh, no? Whee! Wait, I'm already at the boss? Jeez, that was fast. I didn't even need supersonic for this. Yet another incredibly easy boss. Oh, that's a cheap hit. Cheap! Cheap! Now, uh, that laser is incredibly easy to dodge. It only shoots out three lasers. Ah, jump too late. Hey, you know, I just thought of something. If this is an oil ocean zone, and Dr. Eggman's machines usually blow... Oh, jeez, how are they gonna get back? Yeah, good luck with that mess. Okay, yeah, yeah. In the game, it's still oil, but... I just wanted to add the effects in there, just to see how it looks. Looks good, right? Metropolis Zone. Gotta say, I love the background. I mean, that's just impressive for the Sega Genesis. You have things flashing, mechanics moving. I really like the, the feel of the environment. It just feels like this one big machinery. The way it should feel. Of course, that kind of goes against what the description says, so... Metropolis Zone. Sonic's finally chased Robotnik to his own capital city, but he finds a fortress of iron and steel. Danger looks in every spinning cylinder, pounding piston, and rolling gear. Hold down the D button, right or left, to wind up the... Wait, to wind the nut up and down the screws. Yeah... I guess that was before euphemisms were invented. Three enemies. Asterons, Slicers... <laughs> Asterons, Slicer, and Shellcrackers. Asterons are those stars that shoot up in the five different directions. Slicers are those mantises that shoot out their sights. And shellcrackers are those lobsters that have a giant, uh, crab hammer. Uh, 
claw. Yeah, that's it. It's the claw. Now, you know, sometimes there's a secret passage going up one of those uh, screws. There's a slicer. Uh, it feels so good to have the slicers fear me. I really do wish they had a different animation for the enemy's faces when you're supersonic or invincible. That would have been so amazing. Oh, yeah, I missed that. Ah, oh, that was a shell cracker. He was going the other way. So I guess that means I'm supposed to... Yep. Ooh, more rings! Uh, ooh! Oh, that's an Asteron. Those are all Asterons. Good thing they can't hurt me right now. <laughs> Goodbye, Slicer. I do enjoy that long fall, but that takes forever to get through. Cleared zone one in two minutes, one second. Not bad, not bad. Two more X to go. Yes, this one actually tries to remain true to the first one by having three zones. Now, how come it doesn't say Sonic has passed zone one when it introduces it as zone two? You know, I, I guess that's why I keep getting confused. Yeah. Oh well. Well, I guess as I was always saying earlier, uh, uh, this place, I don't think this place represents what the manual says, but then again, the manual's not always right, is it? So, uh, to me it looks like more of a big machinery instead of a city and factory. I'll leave that up for you guys to decide. Oh, I, I usually hate going over that part, but if I have supersonic, I don't care. I'll get through it without even worrying. I really do love the music in this place. I know you can't hear it with Supersonic right now, but if you saw my top 10 list of my favorite Sonic stage songs, you know that this one placed... Uh, where did I place this one? Eighth? We placed Chemical Plant Zone at number 5, and the next stage at number 1. Then again, I just love the entire soundtrack to this game. It's my second personal favorite soundtrack in video games. Some nice platforming on Gears. Good thing I don't have to worry about it. I know that seems pretty boring for you guys, but... Eh, well, I earned this. So sorry. Let's just see how fast I can get through the stage. Okay, even as supersonic, it takes forever to go up these screws. Especially that big, long one that's around here somewhere. At least I can jump up those. Right? Oh, I can at least jump all the way to the other side. Ah... <laughs> uh... It's fun skipping out on most of the levels. See? Look at that. I didn't even need to I didn't even need to push the switch. Good thing they have a spring down there. Otherwise if you're not supersonic, that would have been uh, pretty hard to get out of. Boingy boingy. <laughs> Through zone two as well, huh? Oh, this is going by faster than I expected. Who knows, I might actually be able to get through this in this final video. Ah! Oh, come on! That is so cheap. Oh, that's it! Can you believe that? I don't believe it. That is just horrible. That's right, bring it. I'm taking you down. But I still want to avoid you until I get supersonic. I contradict myself too much. I didn't even get a cheap death. Oh! Cheap hit. I didn't even get a cheap death from the Aquasis, those horsey guys. The seahorses. Um, uh, great, now thanks to Pokemon, I got that backwards. Yeah, this part's pretty straightforward, nothing really all that dangerous here. Boingy boingy. Oh, do not go to the right in this area. There's tons of Asterons! And they'll hit you, so stay away from them. <laughs> Don't want to go there. There's this one area that's just crawling with slicers. Where the heck is it? It's the one thing I'm worried about in this area. The only thing I'm worried about is just getting there before I don't get enough rings to be supersonic. 
Good enough. Now if I can just get to the other side. There we go. Fear me! Fear me! Well, this part. Just kind of go up. More winding gears. Okay, I don't want to go that way. I want to go to the right. Oh, good. More rings. Can I get through there? Oh, good. <laughs> I'm not worried about you at all anymore. Oh, that... No, that wasn't it either. But is this that one that takes forever to get up? Jeez, how long does this take? Okay, through that, but... Does this one take the same amount of time? Because that was just stupid. <laughs> he was right by the entrance. Wait, I'm already at the boss? Oh, but my ring count is going down. Oh, jeez, do I have enough? Come on, Eggman, show your face. I need to kill you fast. Oh, I shouldn't be hitting him when he's up there. It takes forever to get him down here, then. Not to mention, it just it's harder to hit him. Can't waste time. I can at least... Oh, I killed him before I killed all those things. Oh, don't die. Don't die. Oh, my gosh. That's a great victory. Whew. Can't believe it. I thought I was going to die there for sure. Whew. Uh, Sonic, why do you keep looking at your wrist? You don't wear a watch. No, you don't wear a watch. So why do you keep looking at it? Sky Chase Zone. All right. No speed mechanics here, and it's incredibly dangerous to spin dash off of the plane. So don't do it. Let's see what the description says. Sky Chase Zone. Robotnik has escaped to the sky. Sonic's a wing walker and Tails is his pilot in a perilous battle above the clouds. Three enemies here. Turtleoids. Nebula, which are those guys. Oh, there's the Turtleoid. And the Balkyrie? I, I think that's what it is. Balkyrie. B-A-L-K-I-R-Y. Those are those, uh, bird-like jets. Yeah, that thing right there. Yeah. I think that just went by. That, yeah, those guys. Those are all crazy. Like, that's how you want to say them, I don't know. I personally don't care. <laughs> Whatever, you understand what I'm saying. That's what that's what's important. That it's a lot of fun and I still love the music to this stage. Kinda questioning if I should have had this if I why <laughs> I'm still kind of questioning as to if I still have this as my favorite, but I still love listening to it. It's just, as I said in the video, it was so calm and so relaxing. If you just close your eyes and listen to it, you can really just feel your and just imagine yourself flying around. It just fits so perfectly. Just imagine yourself just reaching out and touching the clouds. It just feels so good. And I love how you can see, you can see the Wing Fortress, which is the next zone. Which to me makes me feel like this was the first Sonic game to actually have a transition to the stage. It may have only been for the last one, but it was the first one to really do it. Sonic 3 actually capitalized them on that more, but this was the first one to do it. In my opinion anyway, and I guess I can kind of back that up. You can time this stage. It it really is just an on-rails level. Ah, so close. But it's over with at 2 minutes 7 seconds. See? It's over. Well, I guess I was wrong. This wasn't the final video. With only Wing Fortress Zone and Death Egg left, the next one will be the last one. And it should be a very short one as well. <laughs>